In this video, I'm going to share with you seven signs that you have reality shifted or that you're getting closer to reality shifting. So make sure you stick around and subscribe if you haven't already, because I do talk about consciousness and uh, all of this kind of stuff on a weekly basis. So sign number one, if you experience kind of twitching or tingling in your muscles, and by the way, these signs, you can experience them either when you've entered your desired reality to kind of affirm that you have reality shifted or you could experience them in the lead up to reality shifting. So this means like in the day before you go to sleep and also as you're laying down, getting ready to go to sleep. So hopefully this makes sense. These signs will happen or could happen anytime during those three periods. So tingling or twitching, and this can be like muscle twitching, uh, unexplained, you know, muscular twitching where your legs or arms just kind of vibrate a little bit. Uh, it could be perceived twitching. So you could be just like laying there and then you feel like your shoulders moving kind of like that. Uh, or it could be tingling. Um, even if you can't see your muscles moving. So the tingling could just be like beneath the skin or uh, even deeper, like around the bones, like a kind of tingling sensation, which is really just an electrical sensation, uh, or at least that's how it will feel. Sign number two is you might see, and this is specifically when you're laying down, you know, trying to go to sleep, you might see kind of colors, lights, flashing symbols, um, very, very similar to hypnagogic imagery if you've ever lucid dreamed before or if you've ever, you know, been aware of it, <laughs> basically. So uh, symbols, lights, um, usually this will be like geometric patterns and uh, designs that will flash or wash over your eyes or your awareness as you're trying to go to sleep. Nothing to worry about. This is very natural. This happens a lot with lucid dreaming, but this can also be a sign that you are about to shift your reality. Sign number three is really just kind of an extension of the tingling sensation, but this can, and not, not for everybody, okay, but this can be almost like a slight painful sensation in your head, in your body, uh, kind of a numbness, or in some cases like a headache or something like that. Nothing to worry about, okay? Uh, unless it's obviously really painful, in which case stop what you're doing or you know stop trying to reality shift because it's probably something else. In most cases, it will be something else, or it could be like a deep down limiting belief or subconscious belief that you shouldn't be able to do this, which has been programmed into you, by the way. It's very easy to get past that and to like remove that block from yourself. But this could be a sign that you are almost gonna reality shift. And by the way, I just wanna interrupt this and say all of these signs and kind of uh, clues that you're about to reality shift, they are not bad things. These are clues that you're on the right path and that you are almost experiencing it. You're almost gonna reality shift. So as you're just listening to this now, just scroll down and leave a comment saying, I will reality shift and just kind of affirm that that is what you want to do subconsciously. And uh, hopefully you actually did scroll down and leave that comment. If not, do it now because this is really important. Affirming something, even at the subconscious level, but especially when you write something down uh, to actually affirm that that's what you want to do, that will make it much, much more likely that you will actually do it and you will actually have that experience. So number four is that you have a stronger and stronger sense as you get near to the point where you're falling asleep that you are currently in the wrong reality or that this reality, you start to lose grip and connection with this reality to make way for the connection that's getting stronger with your desired reality. And this is kind of like a transference of consciousness from this one to the desired reality. This is also normal, but this can be a bit uncomfortable and disconcerting, and especially if you've never shifted before, or if you're completely new to this and you just saw some trend on TikTok and you don't really know what's going on, it can be a bit confusing um, and in some cases uncomfortable, nothing to worry about, okay? All it means is that you are transferring your awareness, your divine consciousness from this reality to the desired or the next reality. And number five is kind of the feeling that you've been there before. And this, this feeling is hard to explain, but imagine that you're just about to go to sleep and enter the new reality, okay? And you will have the sign is really just an increasing feeling that you've always been in that new reality to the point where past a certain point, you won't actually feel like you're preparing to enter the new reality. You will more start to just remember what has always been there because these realities, these different timelines, these different potential experiences have always been there and have always existed. You've got to remember time is a very human construct. It doesn't really exist in the sense that we imagine it to exist here on this 3D earth. It doesn't really exist. And so really your relationship with time needs to be kind of changed a little bit. You need to remember that time is only linear when we really, really want it to be linear, okay? In the true reality, time is non-linear. 
you know, we can move back and forward through time. Time interrelates and interconnects with other timelines in ways that we have almost no idea uh, exist, at least the majority of humanity right now. But it's, it's changing. Another sign, I guess this will be number six, is that you might feel like a slight tingling in your third eye chakra, your pineal gland, and this tingling can manifest itself in a variety of different ways, okay? It might feel like a headache, it might feel like a slight pulsing or pressing, it might even just, you might hear something, like a ringing sound. And uh, this is also nothing to worry about, but this, you've got to remember that when you, your consciousness is very heavily connected to the chakra system, and specifically the heart chakra and the third eye chakra. Uh, these two are kind of the portals to different levels of consciousness and awareness. So you might feel something either in the heart chakra or really any of them, but specifically the heart and the third eye uh, will be in play here. And the seventh sign that you are either about to reality shift or you already have reality shifted is a, really it's more of just a memory. You will start to feel more and more like you remember this and that this has always been the, the case. This has always been your ability and we've always been reality shifting in every second through our whole lives, right? And other lifetimes too. We've always been able to decide what to do in every given second, every given moment, and through those decisions, and really it's not even the decision actually. It's more the conscious intention that then becomes the decision, that then becomes the behavior. But really it's at the base level, it's the waveform reality. You're collapsing infinite potential realities and potential timelines you are collapsing them down, firstly with your subconscious beliefs, okay? So the things you believe subconsciously will decide which of these realities that all exist, right? Which of them you collapse down into what you experience in this 3D, uh, I guess you could say tunnel, this 3D kind of linear time that we're experiencing in these bodies. You collapse these infinite potentials down with your subconscious beliefs and your intention, which you've always been doing that even if you didn't realize it up until now, that has always been how you've gone through life. Every decision, usually it's a subconscious decision based on programming, which is really starting to change now. People are starting to realize, hold on a second, this thought or this belief is not mine. This has been put here by something else, whether it's the media, whether it's movies, music, indoctrination, stories, family, friends, it's not yours. It's been put there for a specific agenda. And a lot of people are realizing this now, but you've always been able to create your reality based on which version of waveform reality, or another way of saying waveform reality, which timeline or alternate reality you experience is based on which intention or you know your subconscious intention, which is really all reality shifting is about. It's about deciding which reality you want and then collapsing it into your experience. So the seventh sign, that's a long way of saying really, the seventh sign is that you will start to remember that you've always been able to do this. And it's only now that we're starting on a mass scale to remember that we've always had that power. 